Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today I decided we're going to, um, well I'm going to do, um, a holy grails. Now I don't have holy grails for every category of my face. I just haven't found the products that I absolutely love and repeat, repeatedly buy, but I do have a few things that I do repeatedly buy. So I'm going to show you those. And, um, all right, let's get into it. <laughs> My first product, and I've talked about it several times already, is the Equate Beauty All Day Moisturizing Lotion. I love this. This is great. This is tried and true. For me, it works in spring, summer, fall, you know, autumn, like whatever. It works every season for me. Um, it doesn't make me extra greasy. It doesn't make me oily. It doesn't, um give me white cast or flashback to me this is the perfect moisturizer and i will continue to buy this i love this it's a great price you get a lot of product for the price and i love the product itself so that i'm going to continue to buy um the next product i have here is a uh, purity made simple um this is just a little travel size of the one step facial cleanser now this I've been using for years and I love it. I highly recommend it if you have acne, if you have problem skin because it's gentle, but it does clean and it doesn't strip your face. You don't have to worry about, uh, like if you wash your face with this, even if you don't moisturize for whatever reason, you fall asleep, you, you know, whatever, this is still going to be great on your face. It doesn't strip it. It doesn't, um, it doesn't do anything harsh to your face. It just cleans it really well and leaves it kind of moisturized so you're not completely stripped so this is one i will keep buying i actually have one of those big giant ones i got from um either qvc or hsn and i just refill my little bottles that way i don't have to lug the big thing around or travel or anything it's so much easier to carry this and this will last seriously like three four weeks you know like a month this isn't you know like a week's worth it is like a month's worth so that's another thing I love. You don't need a big amount, and it works very well. Um, my next product I have here is the Pearl Essence Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. I've talked about before that I love um, just like a face mist, a, fra a face spray, <laughs> words. Um, and this is one of my favorites. One, I really like the way coconut smells, and this one smells really good. Two, this is genuinely like water. There's no oil in there. Oh, I got it from Marshalls. There's no oil in there. It's genuinely just water. So it's not going to make you look or feel greasy at all. We spray it on. It's not going to have dots of oil at, like some do. This one is actual water and you don't got to worry about that. So that's why this is one of my favorites. Um, although I'm dry and I don't mind the oil. Like I said, I've got to worry about drops on my face. This is great. And the sprayer is, like, amazing. It's It sprays a lot, too, so kind of be careful. But um, the sprayer is actually a really nice mist. And, yeah, like I said, you don't have to worry about the oil. In. So that's a great product. Um, so I have a few makeup things, but this is the last thing I have, like, skincare wise. Um, and this is the Pond's Cold Cream Cleansing Balm. Now, this is my only product that's not, like, it's not brand specific because there's another one I also love. It's also a drugstore. It's the, um, it is the Physician's Formula Matcha Cleansing Balm. And that's also amazing. I go between whichever one I can find because I can't always find this one. And I can't always find the um, Physician's Formula one. So um, this one's brand new. I mean, it's just a white cream. I love these for taking off my makeup. Again, I have dry skin, so I do enjoy like an oil. Instead of completely stripping my skin, it kind of leaves a little something. So my skin's not completely dry, completely dried out, tight. I hate that feeling. So these are my favorites. Like I said, I go between this and the Physician's Formula one. But they're both great products. And they're about the same price. They're about 10 bucks a piece. So they're comparable, what I'm saying. Now, I only have four makeup products. and uh, But these are things that I've bought in over and over. And I love them. And I'll continue to buy them. Um, the first thing I have here is the NARS 
Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Um, now, I do love a drugstore concealer, but this is something that, I don't know, I tried and it was life-changing, it really was. Um, so it comes in a little pot. Let me go. I've actually used it, so, you know, it's not brand new. Um, and I get mine in custard, medium one custard. And this is amazing. You can use it under your eyes, you know, it's concealer, and it's not thick and heavy and it's not going to be cakey and you can set it and it looks great you can use it anywhere on your face for blemishes problem areas redness anywhere you can spot you know if you want you can use it all over your face it's just kind of expensive to do that <laughs> but it's such a good product you can um it's so good that it's I want to say it's replaced because there's there are a lot of good ones I do like, but this one is one that I don't have to worry about. I really don't. I can put it on. I don't have to set it, but I'm a setter, so I do set it, but you don't have to, and this little pot, it lasts forever. It looks small, and you're like, wow, $32 for that, whatever price is. I think it's $32 last time I bought it. Um, You think, wow, that's just a little pot, and... But this lasts forever. You don't need a lot. It's very pigmented and it blends out nicely. And, you know, it's a great product. If you're worried about it sinking into your lines or concealer doing that at all. Not this one. But concealer going into fine lines, wrinkles, again, problem areas. If you have any acne, anything like that, that it, concealer usually sticks to or foundation. This is great because it it doesn't do that. It just sits on your skin nicely. It's almost like second skin. You know, it just makes you look better. It doesn't make you look like you're wearing a ton of makeup. And that's what I love about it. And sometimes I just use concealer, and this is fantastic for it. So I, I highly recommend this product, and I will be buying this when this is empty. My next product I have here is Drugstore. And I don't know how more people don't talk about this. I really don't. This is the e.l.f. Brow Pencil. I don't know why it says new, because it's not. It's been out for a while. I've actually been using this for years. Um, and this is so good. This is very comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Browist that everybody uses. That's a great product. I'm not knocking that product, but it is like $20 or $22 maybe. It's expensive, and if you got to buy, let's say you use one of these a month, because, you know, you fill in your brows every day, that's $22 on one product. This is $2 at Walmart or Target. I get it for $2. It's very pigmented. It's, um, it's, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's pigmented. It's, um, waxy enough that it, like, holds your brows, and you don't really have to use a brow gel if you don't want to. And it, but it's not too waxy that you can like see it. I mean, it's the good combination of color and wax. And again, it's two dollars. So if you go through one of these a month, like that's two bucks. That's nothing. And I have like five of them on backup because who wants to be halfway through their through their brows and you know run out? So when I do find these, I do buy about like three or four just to keep them like on deck and. Then I don't have to worry about it. And like I said, they're two bucks. I spend like six dollars and I'm set up for the year. I mean, it's this is such a good product. I highly recommend. It does come with the spoolie. I don't love the spoolie myself, but I think that's just kind of a thing that you find a spoolie you like and then you use it. So I have one that came with a kit or something and it um and I use that spoolie. But this spoolie has a cover on it. Not all brow pencils do, and I appreciate it having a cover, especially if you're traveling. Like, who wants their brush? You know. So, this, highly recommend. Go get you one. Um, so another, my last two products are not drugstore, and that wasn't on purpose. They're just two things that I love, and I've used and bought several times. Now, my first product is the Sephora long lasting coal pencil i talked about this in my favorites and so it's a really good product it is used <laughs> um i just use black by the way i've been using this like three months and i've barely used like an inch 
So this is going to last me like a year, like no joke. And I use black eyeliner every day, so I mean that's pretty good. This is, I think, $12 on the Sephora website, so it's not incredibly expensive. And like I said, it will last forever. I think it has a year shelf life. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't. I thought I saw a shelf life thing, but I don't think it did. But this will definitely last me a year. It's great. It's very, very black. Um, so you don't have to worry about it looking kind of gray on you. Sometimes black isn't as black as it could be. And it looks like you're wearing gray eyeliner as opposed to black. This isn't. This is like true black. It says intense black. And I, you know, it is. And, um, like I said, I mean, it's a great product. 12 bucks and it's at least a year. I mean, no joke. That's going to last. And... Oh, 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 before I forget, it's very soft, so you don't have to worry about it tugging at your eye or around your eye at all, and that's my favorite thing about this pencil, and that's why I will keep buying it. I don't have to worry about it hurting my eye, and it's just a great product. I highly recommend that one, too. My last product here is something, it's not new, actually. I was going to say it was new, but it's not. I love this for a couple of years now. It's amazing. And, um, so it is the Superhero, it's the It Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. Um, now this is kind of high end, but it's, it's one of the best mascaras I've ever used. It's very comparable to the, um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is what the actual product looks like. And that's what the wand looks like. And um, this product is great. It's very black. Again, you don't have to worry about it looking like gray on you. It's very black. Um, it it very is comparable to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's that type of product. It's a wet mascara. So you got to be a little bit careful when you first open it because you'll kind of get all over your eye. It's just what happens. <laughs> but um, it's a wet formula. It's um, so it has the fiber, not the fiber brush, like the um, synthetic brush. And you can get, it has short bristles so you're able to get like your lower lash line real good. And it's, um, this is a really good mascara. It's not for everybody. Mascara is another thing that is very personal. You know, if someone likes something about it, doesn't mean everyone will. That's why there's like a hundred million mascaras out there. But this one, if you like the better than sex, you're more likely to like this one. And um, this is probably the only high-end mascara that I do buy. I actually don't usually buy the big giant one. I get the smaller ones. Just so it doesn't dry out on me. But, um, I just throw it on the floor. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, it claims to do that to your eye, you know, and it does. It almost, it's not, I'm not claiming it is, and they don't claim it is. It's not a fiber mascara at all. It just kind of mimics one. It almost feels like you're doing the fibers and... It makes your eyelashes real long and volumized and black. And that's all I want from a mascara. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> um, so that's all my holy grail I have for now. Like I said, I don't have every face category. But I do have some good ones that I continue to buy over and over that I absolutely love. And these are them. Um, I highly recommend you guys try some of them out. And let me know some of your holy grails. And uh, I'll give them a try. I mean, who knows? There's always good things to find out there. You never know. I could be completely lying and say this is the best drugstore. And then you guys have a better one. And I'm a complete liar. <laughs> so let me know some of your holy grails. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.